Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and on today's episode we're going to be doing a tool review. Now this is an unorthodox looking tool for a mechanic, but maybe not for a mobile mechanic. This here is a VanPower SuperPower Pro battery station. What we have here is a 200 watt solar panel and a 1440 watt battery bank. VanPower also sells a 2000 watt battery bank. And it comes with a great case with some cords I'll show you in a minute that you can use to hook various devices from the solar panel to the battery bank or both. Now as a mobile mechanic, I've been using this tool. I take it on the road with me and I can plug a heater into it to keep myself warm. Basically, this is like the 21st century generator rather than having a gas powered generator that's loud. You can charge this up and take it with you and plug accessories into it. And you can also recharge it while you're out and about with a solar panel as well. You can just charge it rapidly by plugging it into the wall. This rapid charge is at 1500 watts, so it'll be done in about an hour. And it'll output about 1500 watts for an hour as well. So then you got your options here on how to plug things in. One of the things I really like most about this is that the plugs are actually all in different directions. So when I walk up to it, it's always like the plug is in the perfect spot. When you reach over the top, there it is. Plug it in normal or from the side. Here you have a little cigarette lighter 12 volt plug as well. The coolest thing about this battery is it's kind of heavy because it's a big heavy battery. But if you don't want to carry it around, it comes with this and some wheels on the back so you can just roll it wherever you're going. It's also not too heavy to carry around if you need to. As well as a reset button, there's also a button for DC and AC power. DC is like what you would charge your cell phone and stuff on, and AC power is what you would charge stuff with the sockets. You can turn either of those on, and whenever you're outputting, it'll show you how long you can output until your battery is going to be fully discharged. As well as just the main readout there, giving you your battery percentage left. And this output is incredible for this little device as well. We have two 100 watt superchargers, USB-C superchargers on the front, and two 20 watt rapid chargers on the front, as well as 136 watt outputs here as well. Let's take this thing out on a camping trip and see what it'll do. I set up this power bank and solar panel. Let me tell you, this thing's huge. It's a bit overcast today, but this will have up to 60% efficiency through cloud cover. This should charge up just nicely. And I love that this case also comes with a little pocket in the back here, so you can store any cables or whatever. All right, so we'll just set this case aside. Here's this four panel, 200 watt solar panel. And to put that into perspective, the nicest rapid charger that I own, which is a $70 rapid charger, is 100 watts. This puts out 200. All right, so let's set this up. The sun's over here, so set out in this direction, facing that way should work perfect. All right, this is what, seven feet tall at least? Seven and a half. Huge solar panel, easy to set up. Let me show you how fast it is. back of each one of these they have a little leg honestly though in the snow you don't really need it all right you can see my shadow go across the solar panels here so pretty good bit of light and there's the sun up there i'll probably have to move this power bank closer to the solar panel in order for it to charge but let's see how long that cord is all right so here we are i've got the power bank here the solar panel is getting some sun right now but it's not plugged in so let's plug it in this readout will tell us how much we're charging and it should be over 100 watts based off of the estimation. This kit also comes with a super nice carrying case for the cables. It's one of my favorite things about this kit. Just a lot of attention to detail, lots of little, couple of little adapters for your charging options. Here we have our solar charger output to these three options. Here's your standard solar charger connector. Two different power adapters here and even a plug that you could charge your car with. We have the option to charge from your car to the battery itself. And this is the one that we'll be needing for the solar panel. This is definitely the longest one. And it goes from the solar panel to the battery. So let's hook it up. All right, that's about 10 feet of cord there, almost 11. Back of the solar panel here, we've got the same opposite style connectors. You can't mess it up. And that beep means it's working. I'll show you your fun tripod there. Let's check out the display. Here's the tripod I made. Use what you got. 
This display is going to be kind of dim because of the brightness out here. Right now it was pretty overcast and the wattage was between 40 and 60 watts. Being overcast a little bit later, I got up to 110. But the first test I'm going to put this through, I brought a popcorn machine. My kids are out sledding right now. So let's make some popcorn and see how it does. We'll come charge this in a minute. And there's my little popcorn machine. All right, and when you're running anything, you can just check on your power bank here, how much time you're able to run and what your output is. So here we can see that we can run this for 3.6 hours because it's taken up 387 watts. And it's still at 100% charge, so let's get this popcorn popping. All right, it's starting to pop. This life hack is gonna change camping forever. I've been an avid camper and wilderness survivalist my whole life. Although it's not wilderness survival, this is totally gonna change the camping for me from here on out. Perfect. All right, here we go. I just got a heater set up here. That's pulling over a thousand watts. That's gonna warm me up, uh, what do we think, for an hour here? Yeah, an hour and a half. That's nice. Well, my kids uh, sled out here. This is the handrails to the sidewalk buried in the snow here. So a couple of feet of snow at least. Gonna stay warm. Well, there you see the capabilities of this battery bank. I've been using it in my truck every day while I'm out working. If you're interested in one of these, thanks to Van Powers. Check out the link in the description in the pinned comment and pick yourself one up. And thanks for watching this video true supporter of the channel. I'll see you on the next episode.